Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today, I have an issue with my TT. Uh, it looks like it's uh, leaking all of the coolant. Um, it's been on the floor. I was on a trip when I came back. There was a lot of it on the floor and now today it's, uh, it's leaking the rest of it. Um, so let me show you what I saw and uh, see what we need to do. Right. So if you see the uh, reservoir tank here for the coolant, it's practically empty now. Uh, I removed the cap and um, yeah, it's not great. So I'm not sure where the leak might be. Um, it looks like the hoses are in good shape. I uh, would probably have to remove it, but it could be somewhere else. So uh, my friend Blake uh, from After 7 Garage is coming here um, on Wednesday and uh, we're gonna replenish the fluid and try to detect where the leak uh, would be. All right guys, so my friend Blake came in. I couldn't get that on video, but he replenished the fluids here. He put some additional coolant and then he applied some pressure from the top to un understand and identify where the leak was happening. And we found it. It's uh, that piece down there um, it's like a plastic coupler, L-shape. Let me see if I can show you with this. Yeah, that piece that I'm touching down there. Yeah. So I think it has probably a hairline crack. We ordered the part and he's gonna come back uh, to install it and replenish the, the fluids. And hopefully that will take care of, uh, of the leak. Um, he said that tends to uh, fail over the years probably 20 years old so um, the new part will last me another 20 years so let's see what happens uh, when he comes back all right guys I'm here with Blake from after seven garage say hi hey what's up guys all right Blake what are we doing today so today we're working on patty uh, the TT we had a coolant leak yep and uh, we filled it back up with coolant into the reservoir and then we put on a special cap that you can pressurize great and we found the leak. The leak's over here, and Audi calls it the coolant flange. Basically, the coolant comes out of the engine on this side, and it just sends the coolant to the radiator and other parts, the heater core. So it's made of plastic. It's very common for it to break or crack. Yeah. And we're gonna put a new one on. Great, all right, I'm gonna show you guys the part, and uh, let's get going, thanks. All right, look at the part. Yeah. So most likely the old part has a hairline crack. Um, we'll, we'll see when we get it out. There goes the coolant. Yeah. Sometimes I like to. You gotta break the seal around the hose sometimes to get it to loosen up. Yep. There you go. I mean, well, I, I had to do this anyways. I'm like, I'll just leave it connected. You don't even have to take it off. There you we'll go. We'll just keep it connected. <laughs> <laughs> it's more than one way to do it, right? Right. So there's your coolant temperature sensor. There it is. This guy gets hot with the coolant and um. it changes the voltage and tells your computer how warm your uh, coolant is in the engine. Okay. 
So we're gonna replace this old part. Let's see where. Uh, where right we there. don't see a crack. Or well, I can tell you the the seal stayed down there. Let's see. So there's our problem. The seal has swollen and it no oh, longer, yeah. it no longer fits in that spot. Yeah. So just with time, it swells. Oh, I can see. Yeah. So it actually. I don't see any cracks or fractures. Usually these will break. Yeah. But uh, well, we're gonna get a new part, which is the best way to go. Yep. All right, cool. All right, so that's the new part. And here's the new one. And it brings its own seal, so yep. all good. Yep, perfect. All right, so we're installing right. the new one. Okay. And got one hose on. Perfect. The other hose on and start bolting it up. So it's bolted. It's bolted by two bolts. Yes. Okay. So those are. Yep. All right. Here. There and, and then down on the that side. bottom there. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So we've got the new coolant flange on. As you can see, we reused the old coolant temperature sensor. You have to put the clip back in. All of the hose clamps are back on and the bolts are secured tightly but not too tight. It's plastic. Got to be careful. Perfect. Okay. 